call it how it is According to the facts If rap was prison Our shit would be the super max No sunshine Just dark skies Nothing but dark thoughts Going through my mind I got bad blood Mad love Only for the team No A one of us is a shooter What is up guys Welcome to another episode Of Maximilian Must Know We have a very special house To look at today You guys know I've worked with quite a few Indie houses And I've smelled a lot From indie houses So it takes a lot to get me really interested, feeling like I'm coming across something different. And the two fragrances that I'm going to talk to you about today are very, very different and very exciting and I think a good indication of the talent that is out there in the United States on the indie circuit. Now, one of these fragrances is from a house called Rosarium Blends and the other is from an offshoot of Rosarium Blends tentatively titled House of Orpheus. Being on Facebook in different fragrance groups, you meet a lot of people. You meet reviewers, you meet collectors, you meet perfumers. And I saw this guy in one of the groups named Henry R. Moss Mossbeard talking about his fragrances and his passion for fragrances. And I just said, hey, you know, send them to me. You know, I have a blog and channel. And he said, cool. And I got a package the next week. The first fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house Rosarium Blends. And these are done by a woman named Katamara Rosaries. She is a herbalist, an alchemist, and a ritual artist. And she does her own incense and fragrance oils. You can find on their website, which I'll link to in the description. And the fragrance from her that I wanna talk about is this guy. It's called, I'm probably gonna pronounce it, but it looks like it's called Pure Wicca. And this is a fragrance inspired by one of the Perfume's friends, I believe. The notes on this are sandalwood, myrrh, alabinum, vanilla, carnation, carnation, and benzoin. And you can get a 30 ml of this in a silk screen spray bottle for $100, and it is a natural fragrance. And what I get out of it is just a very clean, soapy sort of sandalwood scent. Very different than any other sandalwood scent that I've ever gotten my hands on before. It shows a real finesse and discipline uh, in this fragrance because it's so simple but there's some depth to it and the sandalwood is of a really good quality. I don't know if it's my sore but it's really clean and it really shines in this comp composition. There's also a touch of floral what, which I probably am getting from the carnation. And I also feel like there's some cinnamon in this, even though it isn't listed as a note, but I really enjoy Pirouica. The other fragrance that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is from the gentleman that I mentioned on Facebook from his house, House of Orpheus. He, called, he sent me three scents, one called Seraph, one called Dijin, I believe, and one called, we'll just call it Red. We're gonna call it Red for the sake of this video. And red is a very special scent. Um, and by the way, these are all of all of these are his. Uh, Henry, his real name is Mark. He's not only a perfumer, he's an alchemist, and there is real gold in the fragrance here called Seraph. He sent me a link to the site uh, that he got the gold oil from. All of these scents, all three of these guys right here, have oud in them. But what's special about Mr. Red over here with the red wax seal on it? is that it has real deal castorium in it that he legally obtained from a trapper. So don't go nuts, don't start peating me. It's, it's okay. Um, the notes on this besides the castorium, the real castorium are oud, styrax, honey absolute, and a distilled honey ethanol as the base. Now I'm gonna tell you something. All of these scents are great. And if you like the dark, deep, resinous, oud sense that houses like Nasamato and the dark sense that houses like Slumber House do, then you really, really need to check this stuff out. I'm going to provide uh, Mark's email in the description so you can purchase samples or bottles. I think the prices are $100 for the Dijin for 100 ml and $150 for the Seraph for the 100 ml because it has real gold oil in it. The Seraph, just so you know, also has Oud, Olabinum, Saffron, Cedarwood, and Sandalwood. And Dijin also has Cadewood, Smoky Haitian Vetiver, Oud, and Oak Moss. Uh, but as I said, let's talk about Red for a hot second here. If Parawika shows finesse and restraint, this fragrance shows a real aggressiveness and a passion to make an intent scent which is what I get from all of the Orpheus scents and I'll tell you what 
I'll tell you what this fragrance reminds me most of to give you guys some uh, some context. This reminds me a lot of Dior's Mitza from their private blend series. That's been discontinued. This fra That fragrance, uh, Mitza, is an incense and honey fragrance, and this is sort of in that vein. But what's different here to me is that this has a gorgeous animalistic note that Mitza lacks. So while Mitza is just really about incense and honey, this one's all about honey and castorium. And this scent, my friends, this scent is the real deal. This is just excellent. And, and the total opposite of Pirawika, which is sort of soapy and sweet and, and cozy and inviting. This is rugged and bold and in your face. And um, I don't think this would be for someone who doesn't like intense fragrances. They're not going to love these three. But the folks out there who get Black Afghano and they understand Absolute Pour Le Soir by Francis Kurjan. If you like those, you got to get your nose on these. These are really high quality, well blended scent. And the high end materials used really shine through on all of these fragrances. This for me has just been a really refreshing uh, look at an indie house and I'm really grateful to have been able to get my nose on these fragrances I'm sure many of us in Fragcom have had had no idea about these so link in the description to the Rosarium page and I'm also posting the email address to House of Orpheus in case you're interested in a sample or a full bottle of Dijin or Seraph. The red one is not for sale which is a real shame because I think it would do really well but trust me guys Get your hands on these, man. These are really intense, well-done fragrances. So, hope you've enjoyed this. It's a house that I don't think has gotten anywhere near the, sh the shine that it deserves. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or use the email address I'm providing you. Uh, I'll see you again with the fragrance review this weekend. You guys know what it is. I'm back be easy for a measly few. I get them chunked in the shisker bobs. I got scars, nigga. I lay bars, lay bras, lay laws. Roast a nigga like smalls. Son, you got damn right. I fuck fans. I live on tour. I raise against shit. My gun got blue.